Hey, Smithy. Yes, McKay? What's the best weapon to use in Monster Hunter? There are so many to choose from. Well, McKay, no weapon is better than another. It is all down to the skill of the user. But, Smithy, what weapon shall I use? I still need to pick one. I suggest, McKay, try each weapon type and through the use of the weapon, you will know which weapon suits you. Now off with you, I got some stuff to forge. Okay, Smithy, I'll go and see which weapon I prefer. Let's go. What's up fellow hunters, Dr. McKay here and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about the many weapon types that I use. There are 14 different types of weapons and trying to find one that suits you can be difficult. So this is a list of the top 5 favourite weapons I use and why they're good. But note, this is my opinion and my personal preference, so it may not be yours. Everyone plays differently, so keep that in mind. But if this video helps you out in any way, please leave a like and a comment. Now with that said, let's get into it with... Number 5. Longsword. So, you're probably thinking why the longsword is number 5. Well, the reason this weapon sits at number 5 is 1. It's a very great beginner weapon to use. It ha has easy controls with only two buttons needed for the basic attacks. And once you're familiar with it and start to expand into the depths of the weapon, the combos and damage output are incredible. The longsword doesn't just perform great, it also looks great. Every attack moves fluently into the next attack and when you pull off an awesome combo it's just awesome to look at. Oh. This weapon is special to me due to it being the first weapon I used and mastered in Monster Hunter World and even though I moved past it I still pick it back up from time to time because it's so fun to use. And if you really want a weapon that is easy to learn and to use and to master, this is the weapon for you. Now let's move on to something a little bit more complicated. Number 4. Charge Blade. Right, now for a weapon that is just awesome to use, the Charge Blade. This sword and shield slash battleaxe is an extremely powerful weapon and in the right hands the weapon is easy to learn. But for maximum use it does take some time and skill to master. My favourite thing about this weapon is the amp elemental discharge. When pulled off it can do some serious damage. By achieving this, you require an understanding of how the weapon works. Upon learning all of the bells and whistles, the mighty morphin beast of a weapon is just perfect. Each hit comes with pure pleasure. And the final finisher move has to be my favourite of any weapon in the game. Now, let's up the skill with... Number 3. Insect Glaive.
The Insect Glaive. Man, this has to be my favourite weapon for the animation of the attacks. Just look at this combo. This weapon is just awesome to use, but it does take a bit of skill and knowledge of the weapon to make full use of it. But once mastered, this weapon can be truly devastating to the monsters. Now, if DPS is what you're looking for, this weapon is second, only being beat by the dual blades. But don't let that stop you. This weapon has many other advantages that make using it very fun, like being able to dodge incoming attacks by leaping into the air to avoid them. And let's not forget about our little friend the Kinsect. This awesome little bug can do many things, but its main role is to give you the ability to perform those crazy air combos. And let's not forget the area of effect ability it has like healing and explosions, so never neglect him. This weapon is my go-to now for most Elder Dragons. And ever since I picked it up, it has quickly become a fan favourite of mine. But there's still two more to go, so the next weapon is... Number 2. Hammer. Now we are on my favourite close range weapon, the hammer. This hard hitting, head smashing, skull crushing beast of a weapon has to be one of the best balanced weapons in world. Being quick and slow, this weapon can deal immense damage to the target and can be brutal with continued smashes to the same place. My favourite thing about the hammer is the ability to run with it and to be able to charge power to unleash a different set of attacks which are far better than the unpowered attacks. So my advice is to always charge for maximum damage. The new favourite move to come to the hammer from Iceborne is what I like to call the Sonic Smash. This new attack utilises the new clutch claw mechanic and opens up so many great moments for the hammer. All in all, if I need to smash, the hammer is where it's at and I've had so much fun knocking and KO in the monsters and love the little moments when I hit lands perfectly knocking the monster over. So the hammer is right now my favourite close range weapon leaving number one to be... Number one Bow Right then, and now for my favourite weapon in Monster Hunter World, the bow. This weapon is by far my favourite in all aspects. It's quick, and if used right, can be extremely powerful. The main advantage of the bow, in my opinion, is the dodging, which is the best looking dodging of any weapon in World. Now, like I said earlier, the first weapon I used in World was the longsword. So you're probably thinking how I went from the longsword to the bow. The pink raffian is the reason. I switched. I could not kill him when I was doing him with the longsword, so I thought I maybe need a ranged weapon. So I thought I'd try the bow, uh, for the ranged aspect of the bow. I never used it before, so as soon as I started using it, I fell in love with it. And ever since, the Pink Raffian, I've used the bow for every other monster in world, and I've whooped each and every one of their asses. The bow to me is the perfect weapon for range and it is even great up close. My favourite thing and attack about the bow has to be the dragon piercer and the satisfaction of hitting the monster just right, the piercer goes all the way through from head to tail and it's just awesome. But I can go on all day about why the bow is my favourite. So 
I'm going to end it there. So there you have it. My top 5 favourite weapons of Monster Hunter World. I hope you enjoyed the video. Yeah, and the video took me just over a week to write and edit. So please hit that like button to show your support. And let me know if any of your favourites were in my list. Or comment your list of your favourite down below. I'd like to be interested to see everyone's top 5. Now with all that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Until the next time, happy hunting. Cheers.